Hello and welcome back. Okay, in this video we're going to go to the invaded ranch. In order for us to be able to do that, we need 10 iron ore, which we have. And this is farmland. So in order to get to the farmland, we're also going to need another iron ore and some flint. So let's just check to make sure we have enough for the flint. We don't, so we need to go and chop down some stone. Now the really cool thing about having a pet is that he will gather resources for you. So if I take this and run away, he'll actually bring it to me. So I can just chill and he'll just play fetch. If I run too far though, he will lose me. So there we go. We have the pieces we need. Come back to the table. Now we can, uh, we need one more flint. So just go to and craft this perfect okay so now we have the transition piece that's going to go from the uh, priory to the farmland uh, but the problem is that at the moment is we need right let's use our perks shelter perk level four we're going to improve scouting Scouting is going to be quicker, and we're just going to chop down a couple of these, and it should be much, much quicker. The quickest way to do it is just to chop those down, and there we go. Okay, so now here we go. We have this priory land, so we have to decide from here where do we want, where do we want our, um, our, effectively, I suppose, our garden, if you like, to be, our farmland. Because that's the the next thing that we need to look at now is where is our farmland going to be so um for the purpose of this i'm actually going to build the farmland well, we can't go this way because we have this here but we could i guess move that later so we're going to put this one i kind of do want to put that there to be honest with you so uh, that kind of feels like the place i want to put it but i can't because of this so feel like it's going to have to go here. I don't really want it all the way out here. That's the only problem. This feels like... Ah, do you know what? It's fine. It can go there for now. That's fine. It can go there. Oh, we actually do need to put another one down. So we're just going to wash this late at night. Knock these down. Uh, the dog won't actually gather things at night, which is interesting. Didn't know that. I don't have to wait. I can just do that. He'll bring it to me. Okay, so now we can put this down. Uh, we can rotate it uh, to where we need it to be. What we need to do as we rotate is just be careful with this. And the reason we need to be careful with this is we've got to put other other land down here as well. So we're going to go out this way. We're going to put it here like this. And uh, I'll explain what I mean uh, once we get out of here. So I'm going to take our top off so we don't burn. Still clicks in a cotton as and when we need it because we need that to get the wonderland, the winter... Um, Winterland. As we come out here now, we go towards the farmland. So this is where we're going to use our shovel for the first time. Uh, we can grab some water from here. Uh, there's a crate which we can use. And also a barrel there, which we can grab some coins. We can get some water there. We can also get some water here as well. Like two lots of water from this. Come around the back here a crate and now this is where we see this little pile of dirt if we run over this pile of dirt it's going to say to us clay shovel so with number seven now we can scoop up the clay perfect we've now got the clay there's also a horse here which is going to be helpful later for hitching and there's another clay here so we only need two right now that's all we need and we've got them so that's great now we need to go and talk to this gentleman here. 
Mm -hmm. Basil and Briggs. He's going to tell us that he's got an infestation and we need to go and kill all the zombies. Perfect. So now we need to kill the farm invasion. Same as always. Nice and easy. Okay. Go back and talk to Basil. Mm -hmm. Now that we've done this, we've got a new piece of land. We need to get our hands dirty. That means we need to prepare the fence. To repair the fence, we need a workbench level 5. In order to get a workbench level 5, we're also going to pick up these carrots, by the way. Now we have two wild carrots. That means that we can actually use this horse. So instead of running back, all the way back, we can use this horse that is here. Saddle the horse. And we can go... Uh, back now the only problem is we haven't put our hitching post up yet so we're actually going to run all the way back we forgot to put our hitching post out there's actually another horse here so that's something we can do later when we try to arrange our land effectively uh, is trying to spread out these hitching posts all right so if I go to buildings, hitching post, here it is. Uh, we can just put the horse down just there. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> I don't actually need to do anything with that one just yet. But this one as well, we can just chill. So what I'm going to do at the moment, I'm going to grab this. And we are going to upgrade our workbench. So we now have our two clay that we just picked up. With this, we can upgrade our workbench. Now we have workbench level five. The next thing we need to do is work on our shelter. Our shelter is only level four, so we need to put some more stuff down on the floor. With our tier five uh, workbench, we can now garden plots. So when, when we have clay, with wooden beams and planks, we can put down a garden plot. We can then put down any crop that we have, and we can grow more crops. It saves us going and harvesting. So this is a way that we can now build a farm within our base. What we need to do at the moment, though, is grab us some wooden planks. Uh, we need that for this branch. So let's just use a sawmill, grab the wooden planks. Uh, then we can go to the workbench, and now we can create a fence. Something else we can also do here with wooden planks and rope is we can make a well. Something that we should actually do. So, in order to do that, I need to come to the tannery. I need some hemp. I think I have some hemp. I do have some hemp. So with the hemp, we can make some rope. With the workbench, uh, we can also, we just need two more wooden planks. So we can quickly make those. And now I can make myself a well. Craft a well. I can place that down here. Uh, for now, I'm just going to place it kind of here. I can move it later if I need to. Just with the hammer, I can... Oh, I can't. I can only tear it down. I did not know that. But here, I can now go and get water. And if I look at the perks on my shelter, my level 3 perk, the deeper wells, means if I go to the well... I now get two water rather than one. Perfect. So that's something else that I can do. Now, I've got my water. I've got my fence that I've just made. Now I can head back over to the ranch. I'm going to pick up the cotton as I go because remember, cotton is something I'm going to need to finish off the winterland. I'll pick as much of this up as I can. Now it's respawned. Okay. 
continuing on. We need to go to the back of the farm. This is where you can see here the gap. I'll just rotate the camera around. Go to building, get our fence panel. Uh, we can rotate it around if we need to. Uh, we can move it up and down, but we basically just need to get it into this gap here and place it down. Um, doesn't seem too happy about that one. Hmm. That is where it needs to go. There we go. Just need to get it in the right place. Once we've done that, return to Basil. He's all happy now. And now he's got a problem with his cows. So now we need to find Betsy and Patsy. This time we are going to use the horse because we now have this ability. So use the horse, saddle the horse. And we're going to go back to my own hitching post. Much easier to travel. Now we need the grain and the corn. We're not going to use the corn at the moment. We're going to use a grain field because that's the one we want. We need four iron ore. So we're going to use this. Now we have it. We can put this down. Now what we're going to do, and this is actually quite important, is we're going to rotate this so the entrance of this here cornfield uh, is opposite the entrance here. So we, you'll understand why in a moment. But we're going to place it like this. And the idea is that the entrance here, uh, the entrance here is uh, next to the entrance of the other one. So it'll, it'll make sense in a second, but trust me, you want to make life easy. Grab something to eat while we're here. have boots with a bell so boots with a bell is a new item uh, it took me a little while to figure this one out okay so let's head back over um, I haven't really got many carrots at the moment uh, I'm not I'm, I'm gonna run back over even though I could use the fast travel you need a carrot you can find carrots in the wild here um, they are they're rare, but they're here. Oh, there's also bad guys because it's night time. Run past those. So keep your eyes out for carrots. You will see them. They're, they're hard to hard to spot, but they are around. Okay, so now we're here. Now the good news about this is we have uh, more clay, so you'll be able to see more clay here. It is worth running around, having this. Another crate at the back. That one's a pocket watch, which is great. Always good to get. Okay, keep going. All shoe, great, always good. All of this stuff is just for selling. There's, there's no other purpose for any of it. There was only one... Uh, one patch of clay there, but that's fine. We've got that. All right, so now we come in here. We're going to go to equipment, and we're going to put on our boots with a bell. So we need to equip boots with a bell. Now when you run, make a funny noise, and the cow will follow you. Now the problem with the cow following you is the cow's slow, and if you run too far, the cow disengages. So you need to stay close, and you need to run around in circles. And just keep doing this in front of the cow. And you understand why we wanted to now place the entrance of this one with the entrance to this one. Because it's a lot easier to get the cows from this field into here. As you see. Bit of a nightmare to do this. And what we need to do is get this cow past this line. He does like to head back, so keep going. Once he gets past, you'll see, you'll know because he'll have a little heart above him. There you go, little hearts coming up there, he's in. Now we just need to go back and do the same for the other one. Okay, so he's going to follow us. Okay, 
again, just... He disengages, just run up to him again. Just try and stay in front of him. Not too far, just so he keeps walking. They do walk very slow. This is why it's helpful, because if you put these fields and they're not near each other, this becomes a nightmare. And that's it. Now we can remove these because they will annoy you. So take off the boots and head back to Basil. Okay, great. Now we have new land available. Thank you for the boots. We've now got a pair of sturdy leather boots. Tell me we want to learn to farm. He tells us how to farm. How do we get back to Corpse Creek? He now tells us how to get back to Corpse Creek. Now we need to craft a garden, plant a crop, and water and fertilize the garden. And we now need to also venture into the desert. So we need some more clay. Clay is what is going to hold us back at this stage. And so what we're going to do whilst we're here is walk into this land here. And we are just going to start hacking it. Now, this is going to... Look how quickly... Look how quickly the experience for us getting... We're at one already. We're at two. We're almost at three. So, clearing these lands is a really easy, quick way for us to be able to... Especially with that perk, be able to get new world pieces. And with this, very simply, what we're going to do... Is we're going to go to... Um, oh, this is the uh, cornfield... Uh, this is a unique piece actually, so Basil's Cornfield, so we're going to go back, that's what we need to do here. Uh, we're just going to grab some more of this wheat. This is going to require iron ore, uh, which we're going to have to go and get from the Winter Wonderland. So these are all kind of connected in what we need to do at this stage. Now we want to be able to put down, so if we uh, look here, all of this farmland here. So let's head back. <clears throat> We're going to use this to use the horse to go back. We've got one more carrot. Go back to our hitching post. Okay. This is going to require iron ore, but also here. We need wheat and flint for this. For this, we need iron ore as well. So, the one that we really want at the moment is the grain field. So, this is what we want to unlock because then we can put as many of these down as we want. Grain is really important. We're going to need a lot, a lot of grain. Okay, so that's something that we need to do. Before we do that at this stage, We're going to need to go and get the rest of this done. So we need to go and collect some more iron ore. Uh, and we're going to do this now just to finish off this for the last part of this video. So for that, we need to go back to the Winterland. In the next video, we're going to craft a garden. So winter berries, we're going to need lots of these in a bit. So it does make sense to gather them as we're here. Also, we can see some iron ore here. Now, we're not going to come back to this area, so you can build out from here. You can build out as much as you want, because if you're struggling right now, because we don't have enough, come across to this piece, there is another one here. But if we need more iron ore, you can, you can keep building out. Okay. So that's enough iron ore. Well, that's all we can get from here. But there's zombies here. Just ignore those. They're freaking out. We're going to run all the way back here. 
Perfect. Now we're going to go to the table. Now we can get Basil's cornfield. Great. So now we can place this. So what we're going to do is we're going to place this um, and really easily. We're just going to place it here. So we've got the cornfield at the back of here. Great. We get some more clay from that. Now what we can do is we can look to unlock some of these and we need some more iron ore for this um, but what we really want is this grain so we want another free iron ore um, now to do that we need more cold but for this we need more fabric but let's have a look and see because we've got some cotton how much fabric can we make okay there's another free fabric there that should be enough for us in the cold climate to be able to make not quite enough uh, we could make a snow covered uh, frozen forest lake and this one could be quite good to make for us so let's uncover this one perfect all right and then we can place this one down so for this here that can go just there and then that finishes off that piece now unfortunately can look there there wasn't any I don't believe I saw any anyway um, there wasn't any iron there so this is where we can finish off to get the rest of this iron um, actually a bit more rock just grab this quickly whilst we're here that allows us to do this one all right so that's now plain land into farmland, which is another one we have here. And then we have the three more farmlands, which is a ranch, cornfield, and grain field. Uh, good to have. And then we've just got these ones to finish off, which is the fabric that we need. And that's it. So if we look at our kind of map and how it is at the moment, how it's growing, we can kind of see that we've got this forest area here that goes into the snow biome. That's great. Uh, we can also see uh, here that we have this plain land, we have this priory land, we can see we have this farmland. Now we're not going to go any further out than the farmland, so that can just stay there. Uh, this priory land is going to go into the desert, so we're going to start building a desert down here. And the idea is that everything's going to wrap around this lake. We're living on this lake. So we have the snow biome and the ice up here, we have the uh, forest area here, plain lands here, the priory here, we're going to have the desert here, we're going to have the canyon here. And it's all going to wrap around. And the only problem is the canyon and the desert won't touch any of these squares. So we need to think about how we're going to build these out. So for this, uh, I recommend now that we have this, um, this space here, uh, we can we can utilize it quite well. So probably in something like this, which we'll do. Uh, but we can we can look there's other ways that we can do this another way that we can do it actually uh, with the priory land is something like this or we can do something like this this is another way to build out this land this also allows us to build more cotton quickly cotton again is another problem as we build out into the desert so right now we need cotton I can't believe there's no cotton on this square that we just put down that's crazy uh, but as much cotton as we can get, the cotton is going to allow us to put more winterland down. The more winterland we put down, we can get more iron. And that's kind of where we are at the moment to be able to finish this video. And then every now and again, we're going to have to come back here and check for clay. Yes, it looks like the clay is back. So let's head down here. Press number seven. Now I can see the clay. I can shovel this clay. again shovel the clay and what I want to do is I want to see if there are any carrots no they've not spawned again yet so you always want to try and keep hold of one carrot if you can there you go there's a wild carrot there perfect in fact is that another one 
Oh, that's just me. The wild carrots are very rare. We might get lucky and find them. Is that a wild carrot? No. What does a carrot look like? In that's what a carrot looks like. So it looks like looks very similar to the mint. So I think that's a carrot there, right? There we go. So they do pop up. You can see them. You definitely want to grab the carrots as and when you can. There's another one there. Carrots and cotton, definitely worth having. Okay. So that's everything that we need to do. Now we're just going to actually finish this part off in this video so it's connected. And that is in order for us to build our land, we need the clay, wooden beams, and wooden plank. So what are we going to do here? Go to our workbench, change this over to be here. Go here, wooden beams and wooden planks. And that should be enough for us to build a garden plot. It is perfect. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put our garden plot down. So when we question where does our garden plot live, um, it kind of might make sense for us to move this well now unfortunately I can't I'm going to lose this well by doing this which is sad I don't want to do that but I can't move it so I need to tear it down don't get all of the material back from it which is annoying but it is what it is so from that we're going to put our plot down we consider where we want to put it I'm going to put it back of this house here Okay, so the garden is going to live just there. On the garden plot, we're going to put down carrots because carrots are good to have. So there we go. We have wild carrots. Now we can water. So put water down. And we can put down our fertilizer, which is our bone meal. That's it. From wheat, I can make flour that I can use to bake. So now we need to make flour and bake a tart. So back to the cooking from here we're going to cook we're going to take our grain three grains is going to make wheat we cook this we now have wheat now we can put the wheat in with two of these huckleberries and that is going to make us a huckleberry tart so that is where we can use grain we can also use grain with winter berries so one of the things to remember if we're here, in fact, I'll just run back and show you now. We go back to the ranch. I'm going to grab this cotton on the way through. Again, remember the cotton, as I've mentioned, it's going to allow us to build fabric. The fabric is going to allow us to get the one, uh, winterland. Winterland is going to allow us to get iron ore. Iron ore is going to allow us to get the farmland. That is the current stage of where we are. Okay. So now heading back into the farmland. There's some more clay there now, which is great because we can grab the clay. That's going to allow us to build another farm back on our base. Uh, we can come into here. So if we pick up here, we're going to pick up two fertilizer. If we go inside this place, there's flour, 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 and corn. Lots of flour and lots of corn. Really, really good to be able to come in here and raid this every now and again. You get lots and lots out of it. Uh, now, because I've got my flour, I can come back. So I can get my wheat. Free wheat makes one flour. So now, 
I'll run back. Grabbing any cotton that I see on the way. One more there. Okay. So now if I cook again. This time I'm going to put one flower and one winterberry together. And that is going to make a winterberry muffin. And I get one flower and two winterberry. And that is going to make a winterberry pie. A winterberry tart. So two more ingredients that you can then cook. I'm going to take this free meat. Make a meat skewer. And again if you get free bones. You can put free bones together to make fertilizer. So that's everything that you need at this stage. And if you get confused or you just need to remember. Come to your equipment go to your recipe book and just click on read at this stage if we go back to page two uh, we can also get free flour so free flour together will make bread uh, and you can see the uh, the kind of things that you can make there so uh, great if i just check what i need now to make this i need two wooden beams and one more plank so that's going to require me to go and chop down these trees. Very nice. Okay, so now I can come back to the sawmill. Grab the planks. Grab the wooden beam. Now I can make a second garden plot. Also what's good to notice here is if you look at your shelter perks, I'm here at level 5. If I put down this building here, it takes me a bit further. So building out a garden is another really good way to get myself up uh, to the next perk. Because I'm on level 5, I can now get my next perk. So better soil quality allows your crops to grow 20% faster. Also, the iron ingot. When I'm crafting here, which is uh, what I'm going to be doing later, at the moment I don't want to do this because I need to use the iron ore to be able to discover the land. Once I've done that and all the land is discovered, I will use the iron ingots to then craft weapons. Better axes, better pickaxes. At that point, I will use this perk so that I get two iron ingots uh, rather than one. And when I go to the shop to sell from now on, if I want to do the wood uh, to get the money, I'm going to go and use this to get 15% better prices from buying and selling. So lots to consider. Okay, so the only thing I want to do at this stage now is just finish off these lands. Uh, and I want to finish off these as well. So I just need the fabric for these. Uh, and then later on, when we come back, we'll grab some wheat uh, in the next video so that we can do this. So from now, we're just going to finish off this, this land. And we're going to finish off this land. And that's where we're going we're gonna to get to uh, for the end of this video.
Okay, so now we're just going to place another one down here. And I want to make sure that they're uh, kind of facing the same way. So the purpose of these, because I'm going to have a few here. I'm just going to, I'm only having one cornfield, but I'll make a few more of these. Place that there. Oh look, my carrots are ready already. Harvested the carrots, that's great. Some more down. Got some water on, some fertilizer. Some water, some fertilizer. Great. Now I've got carrots. And just travel. It's gonna make moving a lot easier. And now I'm here. Got more land. I'm gonna use my potion at this point just to heal myself. So this is just to get the wheat. Doesn't drop on everyone, but sometimes you get lucky, you get lots of wheat. I've got my three pieces now, so I can go and put another piece down. So here I can literally just keep putting wheat farms down. It's gonna keep uh, allowing me to expand. It's going to give me clay, it's going to give me wheat, both of which are important. But also, uh, I can get the, the ranch later to put that down. Okay, that should be enough for now. Take these guys out. I'm going to take this pumpkin that's in the corner here. good stuff to sell some more clay there that's great fertilizer always helpful really good stuff okay lots of good stuff here some more clay here I'm not going to bother killing those just yet. I'm not actually going to go in there. I don't need to go in there at all. Uh, well, actually, no. I could I could go and get the corn, I guess. Yeah, let me just kill these guys. Well, the problem I've got at the moment is... I could die. you got to be careful with this one. This guy's got TNT on his back and he can blow up. So if I can't hit him from a distance. Oh, 
got to kill him. Because if you don't, there you go. He's going to blow up and he's going to kill you. I just want to... I'm going to get some corn while I'm in here. Can I get some corn? There we go. Just got some corn. Great. So now I'm going to head back. Lots of zombies around here and I don't have much health left and I don't want to die. Very careful. Need some hemp. Don't see much cotton around. Oh, it's just spawning back. Ooh. Run away. Okay. Some more cotton there. Lots of monsters out at night time, so we want to avoid those. Perfect. Okay, so the reason I got the corn was because now if I cook free corn gives me popcorn. New recipe. And free wheat gives me bread. New recipe. So I can use the that to make flour as well. I'm not going to do that at the moment. That's something else I can do. So now, if we were to look in our backpack, uh, check out our recipe book, see that page one is complete, page two is complete, and we're now onto page three. So quite a few more things that we can make. Coffee beans, by the looks of it here. Some carrot soup that looks like some tea and some coffee different type of bread different type of pie that looks like something with mint that also looks like something with mint that's some special powder we'll make later some other tea that we can make some meat with some chilies on it maybe some different bread so it gives you an idea of what we can make and what you can play with see our carrots already is fantastic so we'll grab these three carrots there three carrots there so we're making two carrots each time because we're obviously planting one so the good news is we got some clay as well so we can plant some more carrots so we have four clay which means we just need some wooden planks Excellent, so we should be able to make two more of these. Plant those down here. I need to get rid of this first. Great, there's our garden. So, now, plant some more carrots. water down and some fertilizer and if you don't have any water or fertilizer it doesn't matter it'll still grow so it's not a problem at all at this stage though I could use some pumpkin let's see what I can do can I cook them I don't think I can cook pumpkin I can I don't have enough pumpkins though, so I need more pumpkins. Interesting. Uh, let's do some grilled fish. Some meat. Perfect. And we'll do some flour. Alright, so we're going to eat this. We're going to eat this. And we're good to go. 
All right. Did I get any cotton? Not enough cotton. So I still need more fabric to be able to get these two. Uh, and that fabric is going to allow me to get the ore to get these two. So still not there yet. Let's go and see if there's any more. I'll just go and check the cotton first. I feel like that was starting to spawn. Okay, so that's most of the cotton. Might be some more, but I think that will be enough for now. And head back. Something else that we can make here is a polar bear hat. So for that, we need another polar bear hide, some more animal fat, and some resin. We can make that another option for us. We'll leave that for now, though. Okay, here we go. So the snow-covered forest. We can finally get that one. And let's place it down as well, because this should, hopefully... Give us some more ore. I just saw some ore. So to finish this off, we're going to need another four fabric. To finish this off, we need another six ore, which hopefully we should be able to get now. I grab some more thistle as well, just while we're here. Might be able to cook with that. I don't think you can, though. warm clothes on. Nothing over there. These haven't spawned back yet. Just kind of hoping they would have by now. There is one here though. There's also a wolf. We need to be careful with that wolf. There's two here actually which is great. So grab that and then let's kill this wolf. Now you see the dog is actually searching here. There's a good chance he's going to find something, and if he is, I can search. I just picked up some rocks. Sometimes it can be really good what they find. It, it varies. Okay, this is good. Is there any more here? There is no more. He found. Let's see what he found this time. Some tin ore. Nice. Fortunately, there's no more here. Oh, there it is. It's just spawned. It's over there. Perfect. So that should be just enough for us now. There's the other one that's just spawned as well. Great timing. Okay, time to head back. 
it's night time, so we're going to run through all of this. Just make sure we're going the right way. Yeah, we are. Oh, we may as well grab the tin while we're here as well. Still need that later. Okay, so now if we come to the table, we've now got enough to do these two. Okay, so we're going to put another ranch down. Always good to have ranches because you never have enough of these. I'm going to put it down next to it here. And then we're going to put a third one down as well. So this is all of our farmland. We have everything we need. We don't really need corn that much. I'm not going to worry too much about the corn. Um, but the main one at the moment is to have enough farmland so we can have our grain. And also we can get all of our flour and everything in here as well. So free ranches that we can go and ransack. Also we've got the carrots. Three, three sets of carrots and all of the clay around the edge. So really good to go and do a run there and grab everything that we need. Picking the carrots, harvest the carrots there. All right, so now we're going to make something different. We're going to see what else we need. So pumpkins, pumpkins are quite hard to get hold of. So let's just uh, pump, put a pumpkin down, some water in there. We've got a few carrots now, so that's all good. So we're looking at what else can we possibly need. Uh, we don't need corn, we don't need any of that. That. Uh, I think we're good for now. And thistle, yeah, you're right. We can't consume. Well, thistle was there. Oh, it does say cooked. Cooked health is plus five. Can we cook thistle? Oh, we can. But it's inedible on its own. Ah, huh. so maybe thistle goes with tea. Ah, thistle and two water and two thistles makes thistle tea. So what happens if I make water thistle and nope, nope, nope. and mint there? Do we want mint? Nope, nope, nope. Hmm. Trying to see what we can make. Nothing there. Okay, interesting. Okay, carrots. Uh, we can make two carrots with water to make carrot soup. Ooh, but our backpack is now full, so we're gonna have to go and put some stuff away. Actually, now we can just eat some stuff. So, what can we eat? Uh, we'll eat some popcorn. So, what else? Carrot soup, we can eat that. First and health, that's great. We need health, so that's good. Bread is hunger 30. We can use some more water, I think. So, whilst we're here, scoop some water up. Perfect. Okay, so that's pretty much everything that we need there. The only thing we're missing now is four more fabric. Four more fabric to open that up. But we don't need that anymore. We've got everything we need. So the last thing to do at this stage is to go back to the anvil. We need to make ourselves an iron ingot. So we're going to go to the... Oh, we don't have any lumber. We need to go and chop down a tree. Grab the lumber. And now we 
can go to the furnace and we can put in the iron ore to make an iron ingot. Now we're going to have an iron axe, iron pickaxe and an iron ring. So in order for this we need one tin axe, two iron ingots and two leather strips. So we have enough to make some more. Uh, what we need to also remember, uh, I think I made a mistake here uh, in the workbench. Need to select, here we go, iron. Remember to do that. So now, if I go to the furnace and I use my iron ingot, I'm going to get two for each. Perfect. Now I need to come back and I need to do my leather. So shelter perks. Grab my leather. Go to the tannery. Oh, I don't have any hides. Let's go and find ourselves an animal. Should be one at the watering hole here. No. He's going to run off. We'll catch him. Oh, we'll catch him. Also, we know we need some resin as well because we saw that was one of the requirements. So we in the birch. Might as well just grab that while we're here. I wonder if I can knock that down onto that animal. That would have been good. Perfect. So now we have our resin. We have our leather. We can go back, finish off our tools, and we are ready to progress into the desert. Make sure that I have my perks, which I do. Perfect. Get some leather straps. Excellent. Go to the work, uh, sorry, go to the anvil. Now I can make my iron axe, which is two ingots, three leather strips, and a tin axe. And I can also make this, which is two resin, two iron ingots, and a tin pin axe. And I have enough to make, with one iron ingot left, an ice pick. Perfect. Now I'm just going to make sure that I have my items selected. So for this, I'll press number one, number two, and then for this, I'll press number nine. Okay, so I have everything that I need here. Uh, the only thing that I think I might change is when I get some something to heal in the desert, I'll replace number five with my heal. Um, but apart from that, that's everything that I need. So we're good to go. Um, I think there was one more thing. That's right, it was the snow-covered pine forest. We'll grab that as we as we go along. It's it's just a bit more cotton. We're not going to waste our time with it now. We're going to wait for the cotton to respawn. We don't really need this. We're not going to use it. Uh, we've kind of done everything we need to do here and everything we need to do here. So now it's time to head into the warmer climate. For that, I'm going to need some flint. I have enough wheat. I just need flint. We'll do that in the next video.